There's a single frame in one of my favorite movies, Harold and Maude, that has always jarred me. And maybe it's jarring because it's an unconventional use of freeze frame. Typically, when I think of freeze frames, I think of them as a way to highlight or introduce a new character. Or as a way to give room for narration. My name is Jordan Belfort. Not him. Me. That's right. Or, as a way to end a film by capturing and maintaining a single image, emotion, or theme that encapsulates the whole film. However, this single frame doesn't fit into those conventions. Maybe because it's not technically a freeze frame at all. The lead up to this particular frame is not shown to us, and we aren't privy to the initial fall of the car. Instead, we're faced with continuous audio, and the image of a car and presumably a driver suspended between life and death. The implications are haunting. It creates a sense of liminality. For a moment, we're stuck in emotionless purgatory. No matter how many times I watch this film, the brief suspension of a car, mid-plummet off a cliff, always leaves me feeling uneasy, but I never thought to look into the background of this shot until now. And as I did a little digging, it turns out that this particular frame was actually a mistake, which could explain why it feels a little off. Or does it? After all, the filmmakers still opted to include the frame, even when they could have cut directly to the motion. Truthfully, in all the times I've watched this film, I figured it had to have been an intentional artistic choice. This video essay aims to analyze what this technical error in Harold and Maude means in terms of the film's greater presentation, as well as examine how viewers interact with freeze frames in an otherwise motion-focused medium.